Hello friends, and welcome to the channel. This is Stormhaven Gaming, I'm John, and this is Satisfactory. Okay, we're over here at the um, increasingly irradiated area um, of our map. Uh, we had some residual power problems from last episode, so I threw in a, a line of biofuel burners uh, to connect directly to the machinery that is making those fuel cells. So I could disconnect that from the main grid, um, produce enough cells to get this fired up, and then continue and, and connect everything back up again. So I did that, and everything seems to be running uh, okay for the moment. Um, we're, we're running at a fairly sort of standard uh, 12,000, which is good. Um, that's still, you know, lower than our maximum consumption, but that's fine. We're never going to be anywhere near that, in theory. Uh, yes, so that's one of the things I did. Uh, in addition, if I come down into the radiation, uh, we've got some stuff over here, as you can see. Whoops. So, in here, we are making encased plutonium cells. Yeah. Uh, out of the um, plutonium uh, fuel rods here. Uh, pellets, rather. So they're being turned into um, these fuel cells. They're coming out of there into a manufacturer. Now this is set up to produce plutonium fuel rods. Uh, and for that we need encased plutonium cells, which we have, uh, steel beams, electromagnetic control rods, and heat sinks. So, what we need to do is figure out where we can take these from. Um, honestly... No. Oops, no, that's not what I want to do. Right. I'm going to go with my original plan. My original plan was to string... Oops. this along here like that because we've got electromagnetic control rods aplenty in this storage container so we can bring them straight out of here um, now where do I want to go there oh that's easy enough then in fact that's much easier Okay, so we come out uh, along that line there, I think. Tell you what, let's do this an easier way. There we go. And we'll come out in a straight line. Come on, come out in a straight line, please. To there. And then... We should be able to bring it... Oops. It's in the way now. There we go. Up onto here. I'm going to bring it so it's... Perfect. Okay. And now... It's along this line. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Uh, let's pop ourselves... Now, which line is it along? Okay. We'll pop ourselves a floor hole in there. Um... We'll pop it out there. And in there. There we go. Now we just need to bring it out all the way along here. Have I got enough stuff to do this? I should do. Um, we want to come up over this, so we'll... Pop that in there. 
bring it. Oops, I need to get out of the way. There we go, up there. And then straight in there. Okay, so that's going to give it the electromagnetic control rods. Uh, we also want some power. That would be useful, wouldn't it? Uh, let's grab some from you. We'll come along there. And along there. And straight into there. Okay. So, that's all of that. Now, we do have conveyors connected here to bring in the heat sinks and the steel pipes. And they, oops, I'm in a tree. Uh, they connect to these uh, conveyor lifts into our new station. Come on, give me some power, please. Thank you. Yeah. So this, oops, thank you. Oops, oh, 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 there we go. We're having some uh, frame rate issues here for a second. Okay, hopefully that's resolved things. It seems to have done. Yeah, okay, I think we're good. Right. Uh, yes, so we have this um, station here. Uh, set up to... hopefully set up to unload. Uh, yep, set up to unload. Set up to unload. Okay. Okay. Uh, and we have ourselves a train. So let's jump in there and head back to the storage zone. Because that's where this train terminates. I decided on a train rather than another drone station just because we had um, the station already set up. And it was a fairly simple task of just running a, a track out there. So, here we are back at the station. The brakes are terrible on these things. Here we are back here. So, at this end, we have steel beams coming in. Uh, I've simply split those off of the uh, feed that is coming in from the original base, that end. Um, so, we're not getting many, but hopefully it'll be enough to at least produce some stuff. Um, and here... We are bringing in um, heat sinks from, is it that train there? That train there, I think. Yes. So that's bringing in heat sinks from um, our aluminium production area down there, uh, along with uh, water, I think that's bringing in as well. Possibly? I can't remember. Anyway, that's what that's, that's bringing in there. Um, and they're coming along, sp splitting off from the um, uh, coolant system production line we've got down there. Uh, and just slung all the way under here into the station. So, in theory, all we need to do is set up... No, I don't want to do that, do I? Uh, is set up a new line. Um, so... You, edit timetable. We want to go from there to ooh. Um. That one I want, but I need to rename it. Hang on a second. Can I select that on the map? I cannot. But it's that one. Okay, we'll, we'll risk it. So, edit timetable. We are going from there to there, I believe. Yeah. Okay. That's not doing anything. 
Dock. Now you're doing something. Okay, we'll sit inside and see if that takes us uh, to the other end and then unloads. I mean, it certainly looks like it's going to because it's loading up, if nothing else. And the claw is retracting. And we appear to be setting off. Okay, that's a good sign. Right, I'll catch up at the other end. Okay, a short hop later. And we are pulling into this station. Let's hop out and make sure that everything unloads properly. Let's see if I can... Can I get out of the radiation? There we go. Can I get into the radiation? Uh, out of the radiation and still see what's going on. Just about. Okay, we are unloading. That's a good sign. There we go. And that should set off back again. Hooray! Right, are you unloading? Yes, you are. Oh, good. It's all worked. Right, now. Let's drop down a little bit. Yeah, we're going to get radi irradiated, but never mind. Okay. So this is producing these at the rate of one every four minutes. Okay. That's probably not going to be quick enough to feed into a power station, is it? Although... We are building up quite a backlog of these here. This is using 0.4 a minute. This is producing 0.6 per minute. Okay. Hmm. Maybe put in an overflow splitter into another power station to combine with the plutonium. Would that work? I really don't know. Or we could just chuck these straight into a sink. We've got a sink down there. We could do that. But we've got plenty of time to, to think about that because, as I say, it only produces one every four minutes. So. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, the train's already on its way back. That's good. I mean, yeah, we, we really don't need this many being delivered, but it's fine. It'll just fill up and then run backwards and forwards. That's fine. Right, next. Uh, what is next? Next, I'm going to head back to the storage. So I'll, I'll dive in the train and we'll, we'll head back that way. Okay, so. Back at the storage area. Uh, what else have I done? Um, not much, really. Uh, what I did do... If I come down here. Uh, I did hand make a whole bunch of computers. Uh, although it has chewed through them already. Um, let's chuck some more in. To speed up our production of supercomputers. Um, I might as well take that out of there now. How are we doing? Okay, we've got another 150 in there. Well, still going to take a while to uh, complete phase four of our space elevator parts. Uh, let's go and have a look at our nuclear pasta. We've probably got 100 or so of those done. Uh, although we are running a bit low on uh, copper powder by the looks of it. Um... Mm, yeah, another load or two would be useful. Only running at 25%. Okay, that's not great. Yeah, 151 in there. Right. Okay. In which case, we probably need to think about upping our production of copper powder. Um... I don't think there are any other copper nodes around that we haven't already exploited. 
You've been exploited. As have you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's head along to that. I think we've already got a Mark III Miner on that copper node. So that's, I think from memory, it's producing 240. Ah. Uh, 240 a minute. Uh, and I think we've got it going into 8. Um smelters to make into ingots and all of that feeds into one constructor to make copper powder if if memory serves which it rarely does in fairness so let me dive over there it's 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 only just over there so it'll only take me a minute to get there okay here we go uh yeah we got eight smelters there um doesn't look like any of them have slugs in them. Not that I have many slugs. Uh, yeah, 240 a minute. So, 3, 6, 9, 12, 240, yeah. So that should be running at 100%. Okay, you've just got a lot of ore backed up. Okay. Any particular reason? Doesn't appear to be. Maybe it's just the way it's fed out. I don't know. Okay, so how much do you need? Yeah, oh, 300 a minute. So I'd need another 60. Let's have a look. That's more than enough. So 125% uh, percent runs that at 300. So... What do I need to do here? That's an additional 60. Okay, that should work. Um, hang on. 300 a minute. What have we got in terms of... Okay, Mark IV belt, that should be fine, shouldn't it? Yeah, it's up to 480. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Everything is groovy. So, that should now start running towards a hundred percent in theory in theory well we're up to 82 percent that that's an improvement well hopefully that will work right so that's that sorted Let's have a look over here, because we've got... That's not actually p pulling anything out. How much are you producing? 180 a minute. So these are running at 45 a minute? Yes. So that should be operating at 100%. So those should be moving fast. Obviously we're not using enough at the other end, so we could perhaps split some more off of there. No, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We don't need to worry about that. How are you doing? You're doing fine. At 200%. Gosh. Excellent. Oh yes, I upped our production of um, circuit boards. Looking right at it, couldn't couldn't think of the word. Okay, now. What are we not producing enough of? Really, the only thing I can think of off the top of my head... 
Thank you. Thank you very much. That's, that's very kind of you. Yeah, the only thing I can think of off the top of my head is aluminium casings. I think that's slowing up production of something somewhere. Possibly those computer, supercomputer parts. Let's have a look. Because we only have one constructor working on them, really. And it's only running at 75%. Hmm. Yeah, you should be running at 100%, honestly, which means we're not getting enough of this aluminous scrap being produced. Um, we need 240 aluminous solution, which I think is exactly what we're getting, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so without more power slugs, there's not a lot I can do there. Right. In which case, I'm going to head over to the MAM... Uh, and see what we can research. Okay, here we are back at the hub. Um, oh, you know what? Oh, I don't have enough. Um, we do have them up here. Right, give me a second. I'm going to go and grab some metal plates. And then we'll unlock those jump pads and it'll be done. Where are we? You should have some in you. Yeah, you've got a couple of hundred. There we go. I think that's enough. Okay, right. Whoops. Jump pads. Yes. There we go. For the last time, I think, the big red button is pressed. Milestone reached. Several buildings aimed at factory traversal can now be accessed in the build menu. Caution is recommended during use of these products. Thank you, Ada. There we go. Right. Let's have a look at the man. What can we do? Don't have any hard drives. Hmm. We need computers. Yeah, we could be able to do that. That shouldn't be a problem. We've got that. Bullet guidance is homing ammo. Homing ammo. Right, let me go and get the stuff for that. Okay, here we are. Uh, it, it's dark, obviously. Let's have a look. Uh, where was it? Uh, there it was. Research parent node. Okay. Parent node researched. Bullet guidance system. Okay. Now, how do we make homing bullets? Uh, I need bullets and high-speed connectors. Uh, I have a bunch of high-speed connectors. I'll go and grab some. Okay, I have picked up the high-speed connectors that we need, as you can see. Um, and I picked up a bunch more rifle ammo as well. So, let's make some homing ammo, shall we? There we go. Might as well make a bunch of them, hadn't I? Okay, now how do I select ammo? Hmm. I don't know. 
Maybe. No. I don't know. I don't know how to shift ammo, so... Right, now it won't let me select that. Um, hmm, how do I select different ammo? Bear with me a second, I'll find out. Well, there we go. Okay, now we have homing Ooh. That's an interesting reticule. It's a lot bigger. Okay, let's go find something to test this ammo out on. Ooh, hello. I don't know if that's working or not. I don't know... Oh no, it just homes in on anything in that reticule. Except for that. Okay. Okay, no, I like that. That can work. Let's find a couple of uh, slightly more mobile enemies, shall we? Let's switch over to uh, the jetpack. More mobile enemies. Let's have a look. What have we got around? Not a lot. Oh, I didn't want to run through here. Never mind. Again, whenever you're looking to actually find some monsters, you can't, can you? Seriously, where is everything? There's something. Hello. Yeah, go on, run off into the gas. That's a good idea. Hmm. I don't know... Ah, there we go. How about you? Yeah, it does. It, it... I think pretty much anything in that reticule, it will just... Yeah. You just need to aim close to it. Oh, that's nice. That's the... Um, uh, uh, Zorg rifle from uh, Fifth Element. I think that's what it's called. The the Z1 or Z2 or whatever it is. With the replay function. Okay. Enough babbling about deeply average sci uh, fi movies. Um, oh, hello. Oh, yeah, I do like this. Right, but we will leave it there for this episode. So next episode, we're going to have to uh, have a look. Oh, you little. Where'd the other one go? Oh, I got him. There's more. I hear more. Nope, can't see any. Right. Yes, we will uh, leave it there for this episode. Uh, next episode, we are going to have to look at what we're going to do with those uh, plutonium fuel cells. Um, it might be worth having a look to see how many of those are used in the uh, power station. Um, or it might be worth just dumping them straight into a an awesome sink and getting the points. We'll have to have a look. But we are getting slowly, ever so slowly, closer 
to completing the uh, space elevator project. Um, we're halfway towards the red and black things and about a tenth of the way towards the nuclear pasta things. So yeah, it's just a matter of time with those, really. Um, I think we've got everything running at mostly 100%. Mostly, except the supercomputers. I'll see what I can do with those between episodes, see if I can boost production on those a little bit to speed things along. But we are getting close. We are making some progress. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please do join us next time. Please check out the other videos on my channel. Uh, please give us any comments down below. Like and subscribe. And join us next time. Until then, I've been John. This has been Satisfactory. Please do take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And bye-bye.